What is going on everyone? Welcome to your 74th Java tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be going over something called mouse event handling. Now we already went over stuff like list and what happens or what we want the program to do if the user clicks a button or something. But we didn't go over what they would do if they like press the mouse or click it or if they drag the mouse. In this program we can respond to mouse events that the user does just like I just talked about like if they uh, click it or if they uh, move it and stuff like that so let's go ahead and get started and then uh, well once I'm done with this program you understand how to respond to users mouse events so the first thing we need to do is import a bunch of stuff as you can see I got rid of everything for my other tutorial so let's go ahead and import Java dot a w t dot let's go ahead and just import all of them and this is going to import um, stuff like colors, uh, border layouts, and well, stuff like that. Next we want to import java.awt.event in all of those and these are pretty much our mouse events and lastly what we want to import is import javax.swing.all of those. So now we got all the imports we need I believe. If not we'll import them later but I'm pretty sure that's all. So after this, let's just go ahead and get rid of that ticker and make two variables. We're going to have two things in our window. So we're going to have a private variable, jpanel, and this, actually that needs to be jpanel, and just name this like mouse, there we go, I'll get it eventually, mouse panel, and this is going to pretty much be the area where you can like click and move your cursor around so it's pretty much just going to be a big white box and we're going to have another variable to hold another piece of our window and that's j label and just set this equal to like status bar so here's what our window is going to look our window is going to look like it's going to have a big empty space and that's going to be called the mouse panel and this is where we can test out all our mouse events like click drag uh, release and we're going to have a status bar at the bottom. And when we click, we want the status bar to say you clicked. When we drag, we want to say have the status bar say you are dragging. But, you know, we got to program all that. So let's go ahead and get to it. So after we got our two variables, we can go ahead and make our constructor, which is pretty much going to construct our window. So name it public, whatever you name your class. I name mine GUI. It doesn't take any parameters because it's constructor. I mean... I mean, come on, seriously. We're not going to pass any constructors or parameters into it. And then we did super to, of course, change the title of it because that is the constructor of the super class, JFrame, changes the title. Um, in other words, just put super and put title, whatever you want. Now we pretty much got a window with a title bar on it. Not very exciting. So let's go ahead and change that mouse panel and actually make it something. And we will set this equal to new J panel. So now we actually set it equal to something so we can use it now. So now let's do something else with it. Something a little more exciting. Take that mouse panel and let's go ahead and set the background color using the built in method set background in. Do you put. Nope, you don't put color. And as the arguments, it takes a color. So go ahead and put color white. So we're going to put this at white default, but don't worry, we're going to be changing it to something more exciting later on. And the last thing we need to do is, of course, add this to the screen. So go ahead and add mouse panel, but we don't want to do that. If you can notice, we didn't have a flow layout like we did last time. So for this layout, go ahead and put border layout dot center. And this is just going to make it appear in the center of the screen and fill up all the empty space. And we'll be going over layouts later on, so you, probably, you guys probably don't know what this means yet, but trust me, you will in a little bit. So now we have on our window, which is this, we have a title, which is the title bar, and we have pretty much a background. Not very exciting. So let's go ahead and add that status bar we talked about right here. So go ahead and type in status bar. And we will set this, I spelled that right, it always underlines it like I spelled it wrong or something. And we will set this equal to new J label. Remember, don't get this confused, J panel, J label. Your status bar is the J label. And just set it to, 
Um, you can just put default because that's what's going to happen by default. So now we have a status bar that says default by default. How clever is that? So now let's just go ahead and add it to the screen. We'll be doing, we'll be changing it later with the mouse events, but for now we just want to add it to the screen. Get it done with status bar, and for this border layout south, and this is means for real simply it's going to appear at the bottom of the screen. So it's a little more than that when you learn about layouts, but for now, trust me, um, just means middle of the screen fill up on the, all the empty space appear at the bottom of the screen. Simple enough. And if you couldn't guess, it has north, south, east, west, and center. So, anyways, um, let's talk about something a little more useful. In order to use our mouse events like mouse clicked, mouse pressed, we need to make a new handling class to handle these events. So I'm going to make um, I'm going to make a class declaration right now, even though we didn't make the class yet. So in the future, we're going to make a cat class called handler class. And I'm gonna make my object called like handler or something, something easy. And of course, we're gonna set it equal to new handler class. Gotta make sure I don't type anything wrong there. So now, there we go. Make sure they're spelled the same. That's how I check. If you're using the clips, and if you like click one thing, it'll highlight everything else. I mean, just a neat little tip. Cause if you're like, all right, why am I getting error in here and not here? Just click it once. Oh, it's not highlighted. They're spelled different. Bam. So, anyways, what we want to do is we're going to add two listeners because we're going to be implementing from two different classes. There are two different types of ways, or there are pretty much two different types of mouse events. The first set of mouse events is like anything that you can do when the mouse is still, and these include press, clicked, release and there are two other ones that are kind of funky called entered and exit which is enter the space and exit the space but the next class we're going to implement from is what you can do while the mouse is moving and you can of course move the mouse or if you hold down the mouse it's called dragging the mouse so let's go ahead and add two listeners right here right here right here i meant I sound like uh what's that guy uh from politics yeah whatever he is that's what i just sounded like so mouse panel dot add mouse listener how easy is that handler so of course add mouse listener waits and it takes an object as his parameter so that's why we passed in handler and do it again mouse panel dot add oh, I'll just call it mouse motion listener and of course this takes handler too so now um, we're getting error here because we didn't build the class yet, which we're going to do in the next tutorial. But now let me go over this real quick. We imported everything we need because we needed some stuff. We extended JFrame, which allowed us to build windows. We made two things in our windows, a panel and a status bar. Then we set the title of our window, and then we pretty much just set the color or the background, added it to the window. We made a, a status bar, added that to the window at the bottom. And then we made this new handler class with the object handler. And we need to make an object because these two built-in methods that wait for mouse events, they take an object as their parameters. So in the next tutorial, we're actually going to be going over some of these mouse events, such as what happens when you click the mouse. And we're going to be adding some functionality to it. And if we, if we have time, we'll probably run it, but we might not. So thank you guys for watching now. Cannot wait to build this next class in the next tutorial. So again, thanks you, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.